Uh, that is a question. I, I, going back uh, 11 years, it was in Beijing again, and you, you were a member of the Redeem team. Now you think that the US team needs to make another redemption after what happened here? <laughs> well, I, I think it's, uh, you know, it, it's a huge challenge because you know, it, it's not a matter of the rest of the world catching up to the U.S. is that the rest of the world has been caught up for quite some time. And it's to the point now where, you know, uh, you know, us in the U.S., we're going to win some or we're going to lose some. And that's just how it goes. You know, you have some great basketball being played. It's France, Serbia, Argentina, España. I mean, it's just great basketball being played. So, um, you know, we're going to have our challenges, you know, uh, for the next team, whether it's Redeem 2 or whatever you want to call the team, no matter what team it is, it's not going to be easy. You got to remember on the Redeem team, uh, we needed a hell of a fourth quarter to beat Spain. Right, and that was a hell of a team we had. You know, we still needed um, a real late push to beat Spain in that gold medal match. So I say that to say, you know, put the best players that you think are going to make the best U.S. team out there on the floor. We are still going to have challenges. It's not going to be a cakewalk. You know, the days of the 92 Barcelona Dream Team are gone. They're, they're over. <laughs> right? So it's going to be tough. You know, Manu, I was just kind of pissed because if he wasn't around, I'd probably have 10 rings. Uh, you know, no, Manu's been one of my favorite players to play against. You know, very, you know, I mean, he's the ultimate competitor, uh, extremely smart. And it was a, kind of a, it was a fun opportunity to sit next to him because, you know, he looks at the game like I do in a very analytical way. And he's looking at the defensive coverages. He's looking at the offense. He's looking at how Australia is using Patty Mills and what they should be doing or not be doing. And it was fun to have that conversation with him because generally we're competing against each other. So it's hard for me to tell what he's thinking and vice versa. But it was pretty cool now knowing that we'll never suit up against each other again. That just because a player is not in the NBA doesn't mean they're not good enough to be in the NBA. You know, you have to respect everybody. A lot, some of these players choose not to play in the NBA because they'd rather have their lifestyle and being at home and family and things of that nature. 